Hi, I'm Jackie, and welcome to my channel, My Magical Home, where you can find motivation to get you through life's everyday tedious tasks, yummy, delightful recipes, as well as some inspiration to bring you some creativity and extra magic into your home. I hope that you will consider subscribing down below and joining my YouTube family. Don't forget to say hi. Let me tell you about today's video. I'm going to be taking you along with me. This is going to be very quick as I show you the different items that I picked up for my family's spring or Easter baskets this year. Now, pre-warning, my family are all adults. My daughter is 19 years old, so these are adult kind of ideas. We do not have anything for little kids here. So if that's what you're looking for, I can lead you to some fantastic ladies. I will try to link them down below. But I do hope that you will check this out and let me know what you think. So before we go into all the individual items that are going in these baskets, let's take a second to talk about how I make the decisions of what I'm putting in every year. So first and foremost, you know your loved one best. You might see some great things online and in TV, but instead of going for the cheap items that are just generic for the purpose, I suggest looking at what are those things that make that person special? What are their passions and their interests? And if you just take a couple seconds to look at that person, I'm pretty sure that you will find a couple things that you could Google on Amazon shopping or on Etsy and stuff like that to get some amazing ideas of fillers that you can use for their basket or any other gift. So for instance, my daughter is a fantastic artist. She is also very into growing her plants as well as video games. So you will see that I try to touch in on all of those amazing passions in her basket as well as my husband, he brews his own beer, he likes to compose music, as well as he loves to draw as well. So I look at those things and, you know, when you think about it, just think about what makes you smile about that person, what makes them so extraordinarily special that you want them in your life. And I'm sure that those gift ideas will come right away. Alright, so we already discussed how I decide what items I'm going to be putting in the basket. I also wanted to show you really quick the baskets that I picked out for this year. Now, this beauty is one that I already had on hand. It was given to me with a gift years ago by a friend and I have just kind of used it for various purposes. Um, now, my daughter's items were a little bit bigger so that's why she doesn't have matching ones with my husband and I and this worked out perfect, although ironically, it didn't stay hers very long because this was almost instantly stolen by my cat Arwen and she is my daughter's like this little special cat and this now belongs to her. But this is the basket that I decided to use for her gifts. Now for my husband and my gifts, I went ahead and picked this up each one of these hearth and hand baskets from the Joanna Gaines line at Target. I think they were $15 each. And they're incredibly sturdy. I love the wood handle. It is such a nice touch on this. But best part, I can reuse this for storage later on. It's not something that's so froofy or frilly that it just screams spring or Easter, that it can't be practical at the same time. And that's important to me. So I am really digging this. I suggest these if you guys are looking for something that is similar. Okay, so it's almost time for us to head over to those baskets and to look what's inside, but really quick, a quick thing on snacks. So my family is not that into sweets, so I did pick up some individualized snacks for each of us, but I also, for the majority of them, I went ahead down the snack aisle, and I just basically picked out a couple different variety packs. For instance, there was these mini chomps of jerkies, um, different nuts, things of that nature that I know my family's gonna love. We are all about the savories. So um, that's actually how I get my snacks. It's a lot easier than finding a whole bunch of little individualized things to sometimes just go down that snack aisle, find some variety packs, two or three of them, and you've got enough fluff to add those snacks into your basket. So just a tip for me to you. So let's talk about gift basket number one. Now this one it was for my hubby, and you will see of obviously that hearth and hand basket in the back. Seriously, cannot recommend that to you guys enough. Um, but just a quick look at some of the snacks that he got. I got him some of these habaneras Pringles. They're like a habanero lime. He did enjoy those, as well as a dark chocolate lint bunny. He's not into normal chocolate, but loves dark chocolate. Um, as well as these random snacks that I went ahead and picked up. There's, these are all part of those various packs that I told you about earlier. I also got him this sketchbook as well as this little graphite sketching set that comes with its own little case from Walmart. And I think that's perfect because then he can take that with him on the go 
when he's at work in between patients, things of that nature to work on his songs and art. Also, because he does brew beer, I grabbed him these little sampling glasses, as well as this cute little hop, which can be used as a decoration, but more importantly, if you turn it over, you can screw your growler into that hole, and it holds it up and helps it to dry a little bit more easily, because they're kind of big and bulky and it can get a little weird sometimes. But let's go ahead and get this basket put together. This is the wrapping paper that I have. It's just something I had on hand from a previous, like, adventure at Dollar Tree, but... I think that this turned out so cute and he was so excited to get it. Let me know, do you guys do Easter baskets for the adults in your family or is it just the kids? Time to talk about basket number two. Now this one is for my daughter Hope and you will see that I picked her up her own can of Pringles. Hers was sour cream and onion. Also this weird little ball thing that she enjoys like um, pizza goldfish. I got her another Xbox controller as well as this little glass terrarium from Amazon because she really is enjoying her plants and I thought that would be a terrific addition. I also have one little black like fountain like ink pen for her which I thought could be fun for when she's drawing and then she has her various snacks. Now you might be thinking, girl, she has like way less for her basket, but that is because she had some more high dollar items for her stuff. And I like to keep it super simple. It's not about breaking the bank. It's about just showing someone that you love them with something small and personalized just for them. Now to add to the mystery, I'm just going to go ahead and add most of these small snacks into her terrarium so that when she first sees it, she doesn't quite see everything all at once. Um, and it just made it nice and easy so that none of the things got lost down underneath and kind of unseen. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this terrarium as well as the controller and put this baby together. Okay, so as this is getting put together, I got to talk about the elephant in the room or actually the kitty in the room. I don't know if you saw, but my daughter's cat, Arwen, was just in love with the basket that I used for her goodies this year. She just instantly claimed it. I actually had to shoo her out to put the goodies in. It's time for gift basket number three. Now this one is technically for me. Um, so I have this really nice little notebook so that I can keep track of all the things that I need to do. I have a couple of my favorite DVDs that were on sale for ridiculously cheap on Amazon, including Divine Secrets of the Yaya Sisterhood and Under the Tuscan Sun. I am a big apron fan, so I found this adorable spring and summer apron to add to my collection. And then I have some more of those ink fountain pen things that I got for my daughter in just various colors. And I love being able to write in my new notebook all the things that I need to do. The different colors help me keep track of the various angles and directions that my brain is going. I love it. So I had one of those hearth in hand baskets too. And that's what I went up and picked up for me. It is weird to pick up presents for yourself, but at the same time, I think that it adds to that idea when everybody in the family has something, so I think it's still important. Don't forget yourself, Mom. So random fact about my family, we actually celebrate the first day of spring instead of Easter, so we've gotten all of these goodie baskets already, but I wanted to show you how I set them up the night before. Um, I had originally just put them down on the counter, and then I thought maybe adding some of my carrot decor around them would kind of add to the idea, and I think it just made the cutest touch, and everybody was so excited to see the different things that I picked up for them. So, if you are OG, you might be wondering, where are the pet gifts? Because I always try to do something special for the furry family members as well. But this year, I decided that the best thing for them was to get some of them spayed and neutered because if you didn't already know, one of my kitties that I thought was a boy wasn't. And so this last summer, we welcomed in some beautiful little kittens who have just brought so much joy to the house. But we need, to stop the popu we need to add some population control in there. So I decided to hold off on spring gifts. We'll get them some gifts later on in the season and to focus on that first. So, but if you are looking for some, go to Chewy.com. Look up Frisco Springtime Toys. Oh my goodness, they have such cute things. There's little tunnels, there's all different kinds of fun, and I'm sure that you're going to find something that your animals will love. Um, but yeah. So this is going to be the end of today's video. I hope that it brought you tons of inspiration. I would love to hear your opinion down below. If you haven't already said hi, come on guys. Don't forget to let me know what you've been up to while you're watching today. And most importantly, I hope that you just have an absolutely magical day, my friends. And I can't wait to see you next time.